طعم الدنيا تغير فرحة قلبي بتكبر وبطلتك بتغير ما أحلك يا رمضان أنا دايما بستنى على قلبي ما أغلى يا رب بلغنا طول ريحة طلة رمضان رمضان ده حياتي شمع لمماتي يا رب دعاتي It's a good virtue of life and the Muslim community they do it well. It's a good lesson to give. It's a good lesson to give. If anything, why do you have and others don't have? Can you ask yourself, how come you have and others don't have? You know the Almighty gives you property and money to pass on to others. When you keep it, you don't get more. And I can assure all those people who are here that you will never lack because you give. You will never lack because you give. We pray that the Almighty gives you strength and more health and more years, a chairman for your generosity at mankind. And for all of us here, you know, you have a candle that has light, but there are very many people there in the forest that are in darkness. Very many needy people. There is a song that says that carry your candle, run to the forest, seek out the needy, the confused, and the torn apart, and give them some light. This is what we are doing. When you donate to this, when you donate to the needy people, the Almighty counts it on you. Mobs is happy about this, and we pledge our full support. The principal has told me that we pledge our support and we encourage you to continue. I want to thank you, Sheikh, for this kind of gesture, for uniting us, for uniting us, for your humility. I want to thank all other chaplains. May you stand. The two other chaplains, please stand. And Sheikh, these three people chair, they mean a lot. When we get confused as professors and argue and disagree, we go to them. And then we please set our differences. And they do. How I wish we could remain united as a business school. Thank you so much. I want to wish everybody a nice day. And the chair, I had told you now in my office that given your background, your business acumen, your entrepreneurial activities, you belong to the business school. And I have admitted you as an alumni of this institution. I want to wish everybody a good day and a safe journey back home, our visitors, and a, a good holy month of Ramadan. I'm just going to request you to say a few things here. But before I do so, I just wanted to elaborate about the strategy. Because some people fear Will it really get completed? But for me, always, when the intention is clear with God, I know he'll always prevail. Over that masjid, there was no single shilling from outside the country. It was all from local people here, including the students of MOOCs. The students offered to that masjid six million shillings. And the staff offered to that masjid 46 million shillings. They have already donated to the ongoing project, the staff, out of, out of their mega salaries. You hear how people are striking for salaries. But these people can spare the little and give towards such even as we go on some people have committed themselves out of their mega salary towards this project we otherwise have put in place strategies we have donor donational cards uh, which uh, are in form of booklets I have one here. This is one 
is mine. I move with it. Whoever I come across, I can sell the cards to them and encourage them to do. Also online, we are engaging people outside the country who are Ugandan to see what we are doing. We have a website for our community. Therefore, what, whatever we are doing here is live. Some other people in UK, in USA, are really seeing this. And actually, they have invited us during Ramadan to go and share with them in their annual conference. And maybe we shall pray with them in New Jersey. So these strategies, I'm sure, with the help of God, will help us not to even stop since we have started. We don't say we shall stop. I can't remember exactly how much we have already spent to, okay, it is already here. One hundred ninety-eight million that we have already spent to put up this foundation. We have pictorial from all the levels since we dug uh, the ground. We have the pictorial, and we register these photographs onto our website so that everybody can see what is going on. We thank our major donor to this project the Mandela group of companies who offered us about 50 million shillings and even attracted other people who offered us 30 million shillings and the other one 20 million shillings and they pledged to continue with us. They are actually members of this, of this masjid. So I'm quite sure that we shall not take a year to accomplish this. With those few words, again, uh, let me humbly request you to address us. And thereafter, to lay the foundation stone. And possibly you'll allow that we pray Dhuhri together because it has been a long time since I urged for you to come and pray with us here, inshallah. Chairman of the MOBS, he, but he's here on as Hotel Africana Director. Other guests who have come to, us, to be part of us and also the lecturers of the MOB, MOBS. On behalf of my directors, I think I, I brought all of them uh, MD, Group General Manager is behind there. Adija Chivirige is your alumni here stand. She's in charge of finance. Mr. Bull, Group General Manager, stand up for recognition. You are doing a big job. My brother Waiswa, whom I knew from 70s. And when I heard that was given that position in Islam, I was so happy. And I pray for him to continue I have a great hopes in him. Inshallah. We have to support you and I'm behind you as you came to my office not one time, two times, three times, many times telling me about your ideas of developing Islam here and everywhere. I really feel happy being here with you, Waiswa, leading this project and I'm one of your good supporters and I'll be there ever and ever. Uh, when you came to my office, when we are starting the mosque, I was happy. And I said, I'll be there with you on the whole journey. Uh, let me, as the professor said, you see, we are enjoying the buildings in the streets, Kampala, which was given from Indians, built in 40s, 60s, early, whatever. They will remain there forever. And putting up a mosque, putting up this uh, community center is going to stay many decades. 
and so many people enjoy it. After we go, all of us will go, our children will go, our grands will go, but it's going to remain here. So respect the structures. Whichever you start, even if it's your business, even if it's your uh, home, because it's not you to enjoy it fully, but the generations to come. Being this is a community center for everyone, I'm privileged to come and do this, the foundation stone. I want to congratulate Waiso again. You see, money collecting. He told me the amount of 500 million, which he got already on this building. If you look there, in kind, cash, and checks, holding money is not easy. Holding money is not easy in this world. You, be, you, know, you know what I'm talking about. Money is not that easy. <laughs> but being there, do something visible, is very important. And why so? As I said, I want you to go up and up and up, inshallah. I pray for you. Uh, when you mentioned about some facilities to contribute towards the mosque day-to-day -day work, like you mentioned a, a bank hall, a bank and a conference hall, and many more on top of the university is helping us 30 million every month, every year, which I think they'll just add on more. <laughs> I don't know whether when you started the, the foundation, I've seen you have two stories, whether you brought the foundation to carry more and more to. In future, as I said, it is there to stay, and you see the limitation of the land. He forgot. He forgot, forgot, to, tell you. He forgot to tell me that the foundation is for? The architect is here. Actually, he did the work for free. Brother Rashid, where is he? Rashid, how many floors can go up more? Uh, the building was planned to hold four floors. So far, we are going to do three as phase one. The hall is the top. Now, then, if you contribute to the first phase and is successful, then we'll be in position to put on the, the fourth one. Thank you, architect, for doing it free of charge. Other professionals, I think, if we need to do any development for future, for Islam, for community, please offer your services free. Okay? And as I mentioned now, uh, Mr. Sheikh Waiswa and Principal, Hotel of Arcana will offer uh, free meals of 500 people whom were five. Brother Wais will invite to contribute on this. As a 500 people arrange, you bring people who intend to contribute to see that we finish the 1 billion which is remaining. Inshallah. We just talk to them. This time, not snacks. We show our food, real food. <laughs> and we get real people. Haji Mwanga, make sure that you. In fact, Haji Mwanga is coming from the same area with you, Mr. Waiswa. They are coming from the same area. Make sure that you bring all our business community. I know we are giving a lot of contributions in our Kwagarana with you everywhere. Bring them. Bring them. We have never committed them to do something on us. Let us do this, me and you, please. Uh, building a mosque. Now, we, we are the ones who are working on it. But let me tell you, it will stay there. It will stay there decades and decades. People never know, remember us, but God remembers. Make sure that whichever you contribute, don't contribute to be rewarded today, but as ongoing for their future. Uh, on behalf of my group, I want to congratulate Mr. Waiswa for having this idea. These ideas, most times are for the businessmen. Always, what I tell my people, what I tell students in masters, degree, I mean colleges and whatever, is commitment. Even if you are building a house, I want to advise you people, get a land, just start. Even if you don't have, you don't have enough money, get one truck of cement, of sand and 10 bags of cement. You start. 
when you fail at the window level, you are not selling land, you are selling your house, which stopped under what? <laughs> and as you commit yourself, as you start that building, whichever you want to start, you never have surplus in your account. You never have surplus in your account. Two bags will add something, ten bags will add something, and then you see the house is completed without knowing where you got that fund. So I urge you, everybody, to start whichever you want but with the determination you won't fail. That is part of my teaching from my experience. I did not have any money. I don't know where I got the money to do whatever I'm doing, but I come in the morning and say I want to do something here. Some of my engineers and whatever, they say, oh, how will it work? Even directors, I tell them we'll make it. They just start. And we have gone far, we have gone far, we have completed them with God's help. We shall commit 15 million towards the building, plus uh, what I mentioned of the dinner, fundraising dinner. We shall be there, but I have a lot of groups which I also offer, churches and others. I'll make sure that they attend. And we hope that will, that will be a breaking through. Haji Mwanga, Mr. Bull, my group, let us work together. Uh, Mr. Karama from the bank, let us get together and this remains ours. I wish you all the best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The business school, Muslim Community Youth Center. This foundation stone was laid by Haji Dr. Brian Wanga Chivirige, Chairman BMK Group of Companies, on Monday, 14th May 2018. Alhamdulillah. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم ربنا اجعل هذا العمل امين خالصه لوجهك الكريم امين اللهم قفل به عن سيئاتنا امين ونور به قلوبنا امين وقبورنا امين واصلح به ذات بيننا امين وافتح لنا به ابواب خيراتك وفضلك وعوانك امين Almighty God, Amen. we pray that you make this project Amen. devotedly to you Amen. and uh, you make this project a key Amen. to many good things to our community. Amen. We pray Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you continue to bless the entire Makere University Business School, Amen. its management, Amen. and all the, the people in there Amen. so that we prosper, we contribute to the goodness of the country. Amen. And that all the generation to come will benefit out of this effort. And I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Father, 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 go against the Father, come for a picture. I can't remember what the more 200 bags of cement.